today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Green Bay Packers. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Lambeau. The dangerous hill now to return. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Now we get a look at Aaron Rodgers as he gets set to lead this Green Bay Packer offense. Rodgers now in his 17th season in the league and, of course, coming off the MVP trophy. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes few and far between from the 32 now here's first and 10 to throw it's Rodgers he's got Tunyon complete over the middle five yards on the game's first play second down not a big window to throw coverage wasn't too bad there yeah they had him under wraps pretty well but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball Here's second and five now from the 37. Rodgers going to throw. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. The completion there for the reigning MVP. And Charles, even though he's slip sliding towards 40, it is certainly a tough task to ask a defense to stop Aaron Rodgers. But what can they at least try to do to slow him down? I think for him, is take advantage of the few opportunities he gives you. He's not going to throw very many interceptions, so if you get a chance to get your hands on the ball, you better take it. And a loose football but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look <laughs> of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Second and short now following the fumble. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Here's Jones. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Rodgers to throw. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing is Rodgers. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. 
And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Well, that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs unless you're playing four-down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. Rodgers now to throw. Flushed out right. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now Jones. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. One back in the game. That's Jones, second and goal. Now Rodgers, and that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw is Rodgers. And it's a Packers touchdown. Devin Funches from four yards out. And the Packers have taken the early lead. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it third down you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it even more impressive that they got it done and on the opening drive of the game Crosby with the extra point and that makes the score seven nothing so that drive spans 13 plays and it ends with a Packers touchdown Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. It'll be a touchback. The ball brought out to the 25 as Mickens will not return it. We get a peek at Tom Brady as he brings out this Tampa Bay offense. And Tom Brady in his 22nd season overall and his second in Tampa Bay. After two decades in New England, a change of scenery, and another tremendous season culminating with a Super Bowl title. 40 touchdown pass in the regular season, and most since his record-shattering 50 touchdown season of 2007 in New England. 
He did have minor knee surgery in the offseason, but he said he's sticking with his plan to play beyond the age of 45, which is still two years from now. Look out, NFL. Tom Brady still wants to win. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. What good hands there defensively at second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Throwing now is Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 right at the 30. Here's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports.